To say that the local trade industry is going through a turbulent time would be an understatement. Cheap imports from China has made even the most hardened local steel players to want to throw in the towel. Government think tank Malaysia Steel Institute thinks that sustainable consolidation is the key. But will it work? MSI CEO Jarrod Lim tells all. Hello, Mr. Jared Lim. Thank you so much for being with me in this episode of Talking Edge. The steel industry is facing an excess capacity issue. And, and what is your opinion on, about this uh, excess capacity in the market? Basically, the iron and steel industry is a very unique industry. It's a very important industry and also it's a very unique industry. Uh, when we talk about excess capacity, uh, it's all started from China. Uh, they have a huge production capacity as you may know since uh, 2014 onwards uh, there's a slight decline in the economy so when that happened the uh, production uh, has to be remained because that's the unique part of the iron steel industry you cannot just stop production the production still remains to continue because you cannot stop the fire from burning right, right. so and uh, the demand deteriorates over time so when that happened Access begin to happen. So you still can't stop the factory from turning off the right. gas burner right. and then you still have to produce. Even though they sell below cost, they still will continue to retain their operation. Right. And uh, in that context, they, they are causing a worldwide uh, access, uh, whereby they have uh, been exporting almost like 110 million metric tonne per year. And that's why the Chinese government started to, to put on the consolidation effort and as well. Let me just uh, mm. stop you there and, okay. and, and take you a step back. A step mm. back. Okay. How uh, bad is the excess capacity issue, if I can use the word bad, of the excess capacity issue in Malaysia at the moment for the steel industry? And when will it, when will it last? It was very bad 2014-2015. Malaysian uh, big corporation, the listed one, that we can see and uh, we, can, we did a, a, a pre-study a pre on, on it, they actually lost 7 billion ringgit in ringgit revenue in, in, in the two-year span. Right. And uh, for 2016, uh, it showed a better result. Uh, they're starting to, to, to be uh, turning around because of the uh, protection from the government. And uh, we, we do not have the data yet because uh, you only can see by next year, first quarter, we will see all the figure. We, we, but we, we are on the positive side that uh, they, were, they are showing a, a good result. For example, uh, the latest announcement by Anju last week, they, they lost quite a fair bit in number uh, last year, and this year they are in the positive side. Right. So that, that's good for everybody. Right, okay. So when will the market, you know, uh, uh, saw the excess capacity to slowly reduce and normalise to a stable number or stable level? Actually, the market have not seen it yet. Uh, it, it's still very new, okay. Uh, uh, we, we have not seen the excess has been reduced yet. However, but in the very f ne uh, fast track basis, uh, China has, has price has increased. Meaning to say, there is a pickup activity in China, which uh, that's why the price went up in China. So, so actually, uh, the import is getting lesser, together coupled with the safeguard yeah, duty that the government has placed. So, for the local contact content, uh, Malaysian company uh, needs to restart their operation again. Some are already uh, supplying to a high level. The, those that have stopped need to actually pick up. So it's a bit too near, too, too fast to, to say uh, the excess is, has been overcome or, or the shortage has been overcome because actually we are still at that transition period. So at this time, MSI actually is monitoring the, the, the market situation and uh, we try to, to, to facilitate the environment so that everybody can have the supply change in, in proper. When Malaysia imposes the safeguard duties, will that affect the competitiveness of the steel players worldwide and globally as well as locally? For for Malaysian side, uh, of course, it will affect the the day-to-day uh, -day construction of the uh, housing and also the infrastructure cost. Uh, basically, as I was uh, told, based on our research, uh, the 
steel price actually constitute approximately 8% per home. But if you look back in 2008, the, the price of steel was like 4,000 ringgit per metric ton. House was selling at 400, 500,000 in, in the city. Today, house is selling at 700,000 average. Uh, and uh, does it really cause a significant impact when the government uh, raised a tax by 13.4 or 13.9 percent on the safeguard. So in, in our evaluation, it does not constitute a very high impact. Uh, what we worry is the middleman, they may, may use this as an excuse and, 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 and increase the selling price. But on, on the other basis, we are monitoring the market price as well. The, the local steel player, they are not selling the current market price. In fact, they're, slight, they're, they're selling slightly above previous price, uh, but because of the local uh, industry is actually not so uh, strong, so actually they cannot simply increase. They also have to look at the market demand. Right, okay. So they also are playing, they also want to have business and they are not here to, to, to sell high price to gain for themselves. I see, but is the condition right for the consolidation exercise to take place? It's the best time because uh, during the difficult time, that is the best time to consolidate. Uh, if the market is in, on the peak, when right. people are making profits and people have their own business, I don't think they'll be even thinking about doing consolidation. So we, we are not uh, expecting everybody to consolidate, but based on our research, uh, the, the cream of the, of the industry at the top, upper stream and the upper middle stream, uh, we identify four company that can have a consolidation process from 40 to 25. This is our, our, our estimate, but it's still up to the individual because we are just promoting the program and uh, uh, we hope for the following few years we will see those developments happen. Mm -hmm.